Jürgen, KFW Development Bank recently hosted an event called the Ashoka Nutrients for All Globalizer Summit. Entrepreneurial and social innovations along the nutrient value chain were the subject. The Ashoka is the largest network of social entrepreneurs worldwide. And maybe you can explain to us what a social entrepreneur is and what uh, the conceptual benefit is when looking at the value chain. Social entrepreneurs, they, they cover both. They cover uh, business, uh, they are entrepreneurs, and they, they cover social values. Their core business is to, to work in, in, in social activities. And the combination between nutrient-based agriculture and entrepreneurs is a subject where we think there's a lot of potential. The benefit is that bringing technical innovations to the ground. So uh, having an idea does not help. You need to bring the idea to the ground so that people share of that. And business and small and medium-sized enterprises, they are very well placed to put this on the ground. You see this, for example, on, on the participants that we had. We had, uh, for example, German uh, slow food activists. We had British farmers. We had cattle breeders from, from Ireland. Uh, those people, or we had franchise system for, for Kenya. A lot of ideas where people make a business model out of and which helps to, to place the, the nutrition idea on the ground. Mm. There was also a statement by KFW at the summit that they would stay committed to financial solutions to support social entrepreneurs. Maybe you can say something about that. Well, we have a lot of experience of supporting small and medium-sized enterprises by, by our co-financing partners. The main challenge here is that in our partner countries, those social entrepreneurs, they are very small business, they are running small business. So the challenge is how to get the money down there. So we work in our partner countries with investment funds, and those investment funds, they participated in, in or they, they will participate in, in those social entrepreneur activities. And that's mainly how we finance in our partner countries. Here in Germany, we have, have partner banks or partner institutions who are taking a certain kind of risk to support or to catalyze those entrepreneurs. When you look at the, the large scale of the problem around global malnutrition, wouldn't it be important to scale these initiatives up and make them much bigger? And where do you see the potential for doing that? You can scale up the principle, but the investments, the actual investments are, are small case investments and are very ground-based. So you, you have to invest at, at the base of the pyramid. So there, there are different levels. We have to to have a, a, a mind change. So people have to find out that nutrient and nutrient-based agriculture is something that is important for them. We have to create markets at the macro level. But scaling up, you can scale up a, a investment-friendly environment. That's what we can work on. But the actual investment are small-scale, ground-based uh, investments. You already hinged uh, your your argument in uh, the way the, a bank, a development bank operates, your modus operandi, if you will. So with regards to the financial tools that you use, where do you see the major challenge financing Ashoka? We are not really financing Ashoka. Ashoka is a partner when we are financing. So Ashoka paves the way that we can get financed. So Ashoka helps entrepreneurs to do their business plans. They make the match or the link between entrepreneurs and financial institutes. So they bring the people to us and they help us to get the concrete ideas. You know, we, we, uh, it's very cost intensive to support small and medium sized enterprises. So reducing costs is something what Shoka can help us for. If uh, the companies come and they have a concrete business plan for our partner banks, it's easy to finance if they have to discuss and they have to come twice or three times or four times or five times, everybody gets bored and you get a big risk that you cannot get the finance. So this is the role of Ashoka in, in, in the game. And talking about uh, financing of social entrepreneurships in, in the context of nutrition, there's a lot of things to be done between, between the idea and the concrete business investment startup or small and medium-sized enterprise. That's the cooperation between Ashoka and KFW. So I believe there is a, a, a big added value if you compare 
the, the this approach to the usual technical solutions to problems and maybe we're also reaching a phase in society where we need these kind of solutions the technical width is already taken so where do you see you the, the where do you see the, the added value from social entrepreneurs addressing malnutrition in particular Ashoka called this changing of mindset. People, society, and also development organizations, they don't have to focus only on, in the context of nutrition, on producing food. They have to focus on producing good food, and then they have to focus on putting it into the value chain, generation, good food processing, and all those kind of things. So having a vision, and a part of this vision are also companies, entrepreneurs, which do not work for today, but work for a market of tomorrow. And Ashoka and the context of this conference is always to pave the way that there, there's a, a different mindset, a, a different way of, of looking at things, like we do it in Green Crows, or we had it in our annual meeting of the Global Donor Platform, where Tim Lang explained very detailed to us how the future can look like and how the future should not look like. And there's a special part of private business and small and medium-sized enterprise within this context. You talked about the future of the aid architecture in a way already. So we have this huge discussion about the post-2015, the, the paradigm shift, the possibilities. And where do you see the, the role for donors, in particular KFW, but in this whole set of, of the platform? Uh, in, in getting engaged on this sort of level of activity? There was one point at the very beginning of the conference, which I have to raise, it's uh, talking about nutrition and, and malnutrition, we, we talk about poverty. So we never should, should forget or eliminate poverty of our thinking as donors. But as well, it's not all. We, we also have to focus on on good nutrition and we have to focus on, on, on changing behavior and, 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 and their donors uh, can do things. And in our context is create an, an investment friendly, an investment friendly uh, approach. So social entrepreneurs need a certain kind of environment. They need stability, they need a good market and state as a market and partner states as a market for social entrepreneurs is a very big challenge for the future. So do you, are you insinuating that uh, donors have to use their, their leverage in a way to also engage in a political, dial, political dialogue to actually pave the way for these things to happen? Yes, we have the responsibility to, to be part of a political dialogue as well, yes. Of a certain vision of the future after 250 and how to feed the world. Yes, why not? <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Jürgen. Pascal, you're welcome.